this is your first album, am I correct? Yeah. Yeah, so you've already sold over a million albums. Right. That's quite an accomplishment, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, did you expect that? Of course not. No, you, I won't know. I mean, it's an accomplishment just to make a CD. How uh, did you get discovered? I mean, like, cause, you know, that's pretty cool at 19 to have a band and a recording yeah. contract. Oh, it's totally weird. You don't even know about this? I, like, no. I made all these demo tapes, and you know how you're supposed to make, like, you know, or, I guess you're supposed to make, like, hundreds of them and send them out. Right. And I made, like, you know, a hundred up, and then... I, w I didn't even. I never even handed one out, and everyone went sent, sent one out. I gave one to my friend, and she was babysitting for this woman who's in the business. And right. this woman had a party, and Andy Slater, who's my manager and producer, went to the party, and then he just called me and met me and got me signed. Oh no, kidding! So I never. Jeez. There's I, an oh, interesting. I story. haven't even made an effort. <laughs> wow, that's really cool. It's cool, but yeah, but that's the thing. It's like I never had a chance to kind of like have a second thought about it. So sometimes I've thought, wow, maybe it happened like before I could even decide. No, you, you know? did. Fine, oh, don't brother. worry don't about worry it. Don't worry about it. Don't it. analyze it. Are you kidding me? No, don't analyze it. I can't it. not analyze. Yeah, but I've don't. Therapy since now you're going to make yourself born, wrong because it was it. easy? Yeah. <laughs> so what happens? Like when you're 19, it's like when you were like 14, were you telling everyone you wanted to be a rock star? Hell no. Really? You know, it's like, it's sacred to me. I didn't want to be, you know, when you're 12 years old and you're writing songs that mean a lot to you, and you go and you tell people that you're writing songs, they think that you're like some little Debbie Gibson thing. Right, you right, know? yeah. And I was really not willing to have to, I didn't want to like have to prove myself to people, you know. Right. And be like, no, I'm not stupid. They're nice songs and everything. So I just didn't tell anybody, you know. <laughs> Like, you know how, like, when you're up there singing and stuff, did you used to practice your moves in front of the mirror like guys do? No. And that's the thing. That's the thing about, like, how everything happens so fast for me and everything. Yeah. Like, it's a big break on one hand, but then again, it's a big kick in the ass because it's like... You know, I had to develop my stage presence. It's in front of everybody. It's not right. like I had, you know, it's lucky for me that I didn't have to like play in clubs for nine years waiting for some A&R guy to come. But it's also unlucky because then I had to like do it in front of a million people. That's what I was thinking. You know, you're, you're pretty good on stage. You're I mean, pretty you're, poised. You're pretty yeah. poised. You know, I, I had to get up there at 19. I'd probably be doing a lot of goofy stuff. You're still stuff. not poised. Let me tell you. I'd be doing like, I'd be doing Robert Plant stuff. I'd be like, oh. I'd be posing We've and crap. We've seen you on stage. <laughs> yeah, right. You're not poised. You want to know something? People make fun of that. When I went up, I, I did this song with Rob Zombie on yeah. MTV. Mm -hmm. I swear to God, I didn't know what to do. Because <laughs> Rob is jumping up and down like a maniac. And he's got all these stage moves yeah. worked out. Rob Rob is really cool on stage. I mean, he comes. He, first of all, he was dressed as a zombie. And he's jumping up and down on stage. But he looked good like he knew what he was doing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Meanwhile, I make an ass of myself on stage so much. Really? So much. When you try to do something, yeah, right? Yeah, like fans will give me necklaces. This fan gave me a long necklace and I wore it and then I started like trying to like headbang and look cool and everything <laughs> yeah. I hit myself in the head with the necklace <laughs> see that's when you run into trouble and I like tried to step on a monitor and I knocked the monitor over and like fell down on the stage yeah. but like I think that's cool you know people fall down all the time you yeah. know it's like what's a big deal I get up and I say okay yeah, so, that, you know, that, so it is difficult to all of a sudden get on stage and have a hit record and then they say well get on stage and you never done it before right yeah like in high school you never got up and started performing did no, you no I never performed with I never and played what about, with the band I mean, or anything but even the singing I mean, did you sit, stand in your room and... No, and that's the thing. And I didn't even, like, when I went and I brought my tape into Andy and everything, he yeah. said the first thing he said to me was, well, you have a beautiful voice, first of all. And, I mean, I looked at my father, like, I, I was so in shock. Right. Because my, like, my family, they sing. My mom and my sister sing. But they both have, like, really kind of operatic kind of voices. Yeah. And if you grew up with a voice like mine and you're listening to these, like, whoa! you know yeah. you're gonna feel like your voice isn't you yeah, know, you've got like a deep a husky kind of soulful voice yeah kind of and then you went out on stage the first time first time in Paris in front of like 800 media people and Sony executives it was like this big Sony road show the Fugees were there yeah um, and they're like, real good on stage yeah yeah like everybody well everybody had been on stage like a million times I'd never been on stage at all I went up there I had to do like 15 minutes and I just didn't I didn't say a word to the audience because wow. like I can't do that crap like hello Paris you yeah know? right Right. I can't. I cannot bring myself to do that. Yeah. Well, um, you're shy. I'm not shy. You're not. No. And what I'm is not it? Shy. Why can't you say hello, Paris? Because it just seems showbiz. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't seem like you. Yeah. I'm not shy. That's everybody always thinks that I'm shy. I just like everybody talks when they have nothing to say.